A new push from a group of House lawmakers tonight demanding answers from the intelligence community on UFOs, answers they did not get during the historic UFO hearing. In a letter uh, to the Inspector General, six members of Congress are asking for specific details about possible government UFO programs that Air Force veteran and former intelligence officer David Grush said he could not share publicly. The lawmakers say they are being blocked from reviewing all of that classified information. Uh, Grush first made the whistleblower claims exclusively here on News Nation. He testified that he shared any information he had with the inspector general. And I know a lot of Congress talked about we're going to go to Area 51 and, you know, and there's nothing there anymore anyway. It's just, you know, and we move like a glacier. And as soon as we announce it, I'm sure the moving vans would pull up. But please. Uh, I can't discuss that publicly, but I did provide that information both to the intel committees and the inspector general. I know the exact locations, and, and those locations were provided to the inspector general and some of which to the intelligence committees. I actually had the people with the firsthand knowledge um, provide a protected disclosure to the inspector general. And so now lawmakers say they are going to go directly to the inspector general. Tennessee Republican Representative Tim Burchett uh, led the group behind that letter demanding information. Representative Burchett joins us now. Uh, Representative, I, I read the letter to the inspector general. It was, it was a good letter. Uh, the thing I was wondering, though, um, Congressman, is, is what if they just blow you off? Like, what if they get the letter and do they have to the, respond? Do they have to answer any of I think you had three really serious questions in there. Do they, do they have to even answer them? Yeah, they do technically, but of course they won't. Uh, this cover-up will continue, and I predict they're not going to let us have a select committee. They're going to go down the list and just shut this thing down. One, we got way too much publicity. Um, we called way too much attention to the war pimps at the Pentagon. Um, and other things, you know, we, we know how much money they're wasting on these, these wild programs, and they won't even release this information. They want more money to study it, yet they say they don't exist, yet we have footage, Pentagon footage, or um, Defense Department footage. You know, so it just goes down the list, and it's just a complete cover-up, top to bottom, this thing, and they're just trying to run the clock out. You look at the tic-tac the tic videos, uh, yeah. not TikTok, but tic-tac yeah. like the candy right there that were, they denied they even existed, and then they were leaked. And then, um, then they came forward and said, in fact, they do exist. So um, it's, it just continues. It's very frustrating, but they do it because they're allowed to do it and because both sides of the aisle are compromised on this issue for whatever reason. You don't sound as, as optimistic, Congressman. I think last time I spoke to you was just a couple days after the hearings, and you were sort of like on fire. I was getting this feeling like we were really going to get info. Uh, tonight, you sound a little more like, like you know, they're just shutting you down every way, and we might, we might not find out anything. We're going to keep digging, and I'm going to find something out. I, you know, I, I mean, look what happened to poor David Grush. Yeah. They discredited him. They attack a man that has PTSD. I mean, for goodness sakes, this is the United States of America. We ought to honor our veterans. Well, at least we do in Tennessee. We might not in Washington, D.C. And shame on both parties for allowing this because this will provide a chilling effect to future whistleblowers. They will see this. They will see that they won't. we won't have a select committee. We won't be able to call this stuff in. We won't be able to provide them any protection. Whistleblowers will just be another name in the history books because we're gutless, and that's both parties. That's a shame to hear. Re Representative Luna said last week that they were trying, that you were trying to reinstitute Grush's security clearance so that you could get him in a, a confidential area where you could get more answers because he, he's not allowed to talk openly about some of this stuff uh, at the hearings. Any progress on that? Do you think that that may happen soon? No, and that's why um, my friend Matt Gates suggested and and actually requested uh, uh, the um, select committee from the speaker and, and the chairman of the committee. So it's really in their court right now. If the UFO community wants to request their congressman and, uh, to, um, to get on board with this, I think it would be a good thing. I think if they got a few emails showing the seriousness of this nature, because like I said in the, in the, in the hearing, I'm not bringing out little green man, we're not bringing right. out a flying saucer. We just want transparency, man. This is ridiculous. It's, um, you know, it's an agency that never has passed an audit. At one time, Department of Defense, we're told 60% of their assets are unaccounted for. I mean, if you and I had that, rather, we'd be in jail. We would be in jail if it was our business or our any other entity, but it's the Pentagon, and they're allowed to do it.
right, and our elected leaders, like you don't even know where the money's going, which is, which is kind of unbelievable. No. I want to ask you about this. I'm so interested in this. Congress still has to vote on the National Defense Appropriations Act. Senator Schumer put that portion in there that requires disclosure when it comes to UFOs, which was a big deal if that requirement makes it in. But I heard you, I think it was last week, saying that you don't think it's going to make it in, that you think it's going to well, get I, cut out. I mean, what, what's that all about? You really I, think, you think I, that's going to happen? I, 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 well, I, what I think I really meant to say was if it gets it in, it's not going to do anything. It, what it is, it provides, if you read, dig into it, it provides a clearinghouse. So we're going to have the Pentagon, again, unelected bureaucrats who've never fired a shot in anger, sitting behind a desk somewhere deciding what what photos what information comes out on an issue they said does not exist and they have video footage of it from their own members showing that it does we have we have testimony of these pilots chasing these ufos yet you know it's just it's just a complete circle they say they don't exist but send us money and i'm sure um senator schumer and 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 good due diligence but you know he's a tax and spend liberal he's going to put millions in there for the pentagon to release this stuff look all i want is transparency release the files let me handle it i, I let me you know i think i can handle it they still won't release the kennedy assassination files 60 years ago nobody's right. even alive it's look, like just just tell the is, american people what's going on and let them right. decide for themselves what to think you know whether you believe in ufos yeah. or not maybe it's some other kind of technology but i'm interested to see if that gets pulled out of the uh national defense appropriations act i think that'll be really telling if for some reason they pulled that line out uh but we'll we'll stay on it uh congressman i know i know you are too behind the scenes and yeah. and we'll uh, we'll get back with you soon thanks for coming on it wouldn't be out there if it wasn't for y'all. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. We're, we'll we'll stay on it. That's why we have you on. You gotta you gotta keep the pressure on. So thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.